Hey guys, I'm gonna be showing you what I take with me traveling or even just like makeup on the go. And I am going out of town this weekend, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity because I'm really trying to be prepared this time. I'm gonna show you what I'm taking as well as like some contenders because I'm not taking everything that I might normally take if I were to travel for a longer period of time. Yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the things that I often do like to take because they are pretty much like my favorites in that sense too. So you'll see a lot of what I like, what I'm constantly using, what I love to take on the go, and just stay tuned. So I do have everything packed up right now, but I'm going to take everything out and show you everything in categories. Okay, so let's start with the face products, which I'm now realizing does take up the most space. I know you guys have seen me use these two, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and the Almay TLC Foundation. I know I've also been getting questions um, regarding these, how I like them and all that. Um, for the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, I did get this while I was in London, and I like it a lot. I love how it looks on my skin. Um, it has a very slight dewy finish, about medium coverage, but you can lighten that or build that up. And the only thing is that it's definitely too um, dewy on its own for my oily skin, like my face will shine up really quickly. So I tend to like to mix it with my Alme TLC, which gives me a great matte finish and it doesn't have as heavy of coverage though, it actually has more of like a light, light to medium coverage. But I really love these two mixed together and I love these two for different reasons. So that's why I'm going to be taking these two foundations. This Too Faced Natural Radiance Palette, I actually take this with me all the time. Like on the go, traveling, it comes with a bronze veil, a blush, a cream blush, which I love. Like I use this on my cheeks all the time. I can even use it on my lips as like a nude peachy lip color. And then the Brighton, I also love that. Even though it's not very long lasting, it's great for when I'm in a pinch, you know? So I really do love this little palette because, I don't know, it's just so handy. I'm also gonna be bringing my Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer. This is what I'll mostly be using for my under eyes and for spot concealing. I'm also gonna be taking my Block Pressed Powder, which is from MAC, and I use the shade in Medium Dark. And this is just a great powder to mattify my face and I just think it does a really good job like oil control, shine control wise. Along with that, of course, I have to have my blotting sheets and these are the e.l.f. Professional Shine Erasers. Comes with 50 blind sheets and these usually cost like a dollar. Another powder I'm taking with me, and this is so bulky that it, it drives me insane. Like I'm gonna have to find a way to depot this and just figure out what I'm gonna put it in. I kind of just want it to be its one individual thing, but it's so, look how huge this is. Let me show you guys, okay. Like, the product is this little. This is this little disc right here is all I need. But I, I love this powder so much that I still take it with me anyways. It's the Multitasker Face Powder by Milani in light tan. And it just gives me color. Like, it's like a very soft um, bronzer that looks natural. Okay, another thing I'm bringing is this MAC blush in Pink Swoon. And it's a matte pink color, and I also forgot to mention I'm wearing most of these things, especially what I've shown you so far. I will list everything that I'm wearing down below if you're curious, but yeah, I am wearing this blush. It's a very cute pink blush. What I love about this is that it gives you that sweet girly pink, but it still warms up your complexion and it looks great like on top of a contour color or like a bronzer color. Another brush I'm taking is this Maybelline Fit Me blush in light nude, and it is a great like on the go blush color. If I don't have time to contour and all that, this does a great job contouring and giving me a subtle like blush to my cheeks. Okay, and the last face product would be this Urban Decay D Slick in a tube, which is a mattifying gel. And this is like a lifesaver for, for you oily skin girls. I love this. Like I just take a little bit of the gel and if I get shiny, I'll like, of course I'll do the whole, you know, I'll definitely at least um, block my face first. And then if I don't want to powder, because sometimes you don't want to overpowder your face, I will use this, just dab it between my fingers, and then just, you know, pat it wherever I'm shiny. And it works like a charm. It keeps me matte for a really long time. Okay, I have to mention this product, even though I'm not traveling with it this weekend, which I'm kind of shocked myself, is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Um, the shade I use is number 30, wait, number 23, and I love this. I still love it after, how many years has it been? If anyone knows, just tell me. It lasts so long, like seriously, because I only use a little bit and dab it on my face. I'm not bringing it because it is a really short weekend trip, so 
I can live without it for a little while. All right, for my brow products, I'm gonna be bringing this Physician's Formula Brow Pencil in the shade Brown Beige. It's actually like, oh, it's harder. You actually have to apply some pressure, which I like because that way I'm not as likely to go overboard. Another thing I like is this Vincent Longo Blondie, oh, Blonde by brow powder and pomade, but I usually just use a powder. I don't know if you can still find this, which is why I don't even really want to show you guys this, but this is something that I, I do take with me a lot and I like to use as well with an angled brush. Okay, now on to the eye products. The Sleek Palette in Ultra Matte's version 2. I decided that I'm going to take this one because it has a bunch of mattes. It has a bunch of neutral colors, but it has some like color, you know, bright, not bright, but colorful colors too that I can work with if I just wanted to add some extra color to my eye look. And it just has such a great variety. I love how sleek the palette is. The one negative thing about these palettes though is that the shadows can be quite powdery. So I do have to be a little bit careful when I am applying these. But overall, I really love them. Okay, the other eye palette I'm wearing is the Stila in the Light Palette. And I am mostly wearing um, shades from this palette today. I'm wearing this one right here, Luster, as well as Bliss. I love this because it has a good range of mattes and shimmers. It has like a good variety of colors. It even has Kitten, which I know is really popular. I wore that in the inner corner. And I just really, really like this palette. It's a solid palette. So yeah, I'm gonna take these two palettes. I did wanna briefly show some contenders that I have traveled with. One would have to be my Maybelline what is it called? Sunbaked Neutrals Palette. And I love this. The brownish matte shades are just amazing quality. I, I swear to you, like for this little drugstore product, it's really great quality. I love the olive greens in here and you know, the shimmering white. It's just got pretty much everything I need for like a quick neutral eye. I really do enjoy this Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. I just like Too Faced palettes in general because I don't know, they just feel special and like girly. I like the packaging. I like the detail to the name. So those are my eyeshadow palette contenders. I'm also gonna be bringing this Tweezerman Lash Curler, which is not as good as the shoe wear, which I love. It's probably like my number one, but I did use it today. My lashes are nicely curled and standing up. It works really well. I'm also gonna be bringing my Makeup Forever Eye Prime. I really, really have been enjoying this primer. My other favorite is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then some lash products. I'm gonna be bringing these Red Cherry Lashes in number 217. They're just pretty and fluttery if I want some extra vavoom, just depends on my mood. And I'm gonna be, be bringing two lash glues. I know you might be thinking why. Um, I really like the duo lash glue. This is the dark tone one, so it dries black, which is great. I'm bringing this just in case of any mishaps. If you know my lash pops off, I can just grab this out of my clutch and just stick it back on. These two mascaras, which I know, I know feels a little excessive because normally I would just bring one, but I love the combination of these two lately. It is what I'm wearing today. Oh my god, I swear this is going to be like the longest video of life. Um, I just talked too much. Alright, just the last remaining eye products would be... I am going to be taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. Because it's just really a pretty like base color. Or even just on its own. It's just a really pretty bronze color. Then as for eyeliners, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. In, it's just in black as black. The other ones that I really love is Max um, Black Track... Fluid line in black track as well as Bobbi Brown's gel liner. I really love those two as well. I usually keep them in my kit. As for the other eyeliners, I'm going to be taking are these four. This is the Stila liquid liner. It's the waterproof liquid liner. I use this all the time in my videos. I'm sure you guys have seen that. The pencil one I'm bringing is the L'Oreal Infallible in carbon black. Urban Decay's in Yayo. And then I'm also bringing my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in 7L, which is just a gorgeous like aqua color. I love it. All right, lips and then brushes real quick guys. So I'm gonna be taking these two lipsticks. This is my L'Oreal Ferris Nude. Great nude lipstick with some pink undertones. I usually will layer like a gloss or something on top of it. And then the other one which I'm wearing, which I love, it's, I think it's faded a little bit, but I even love like how it looks faded, would be my Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Make Me Pink. This is such a pretty, 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 pretty pink lipstick. This is like 
my favorite. I love this. I actually gave it to one of my friends a long time ago. She fell in love with it. I loved how it looks so much on her that I had to get one for myself. So that's Maybelline's Color Sensational Lipstick in Make Me Pink. And then I also have the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is just for, you know, some moisture. Um, it does actually add a little bit of light tint to my lips too. In Pink Wink. I think this might be a limited edition one. Then the two lip glosses I'm bringing is the CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amaze Mint in the shade Slap Happy. And it's a pretty like, you know, kind of peachy, corally shade. I like it because it's minty and it's not like too sticky on my lips. And then the other one that I love is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in Orchid. As for brushes, I'll go through them real quick. They're, this little brush case doesn't fit this. This is why I'm going to be putting it in this along with other things. The foundation brush I'm bringing is the Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki Brush. I think out of all the Sigmax brushes, this one is definitely up there for me. I really, really love this Flat Angled Kabuki Brush. This Tapered Face Brush, also by Sigma, because I really like it for a powder brush and I also like to use it you know, to apply bronzer. And then the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. I like their face brushes, I really do. Um, this is actually the one from the Paris palette. I got grabbed this one because it's smaller and it fits well in here. And I just, this is such a great blush brush. And then I also have a couple Sonia Kashuk brushes. This is, I believe, I'm not sure if it's called the blending brush, but it's a really great blending brush. As well as this, um, like, I don't know if this is like the medium. I wish they had the name on here. I think it's like the medium shading brush or something like that. But it's flat. It's like stiff enough. It's great for patting on shadow. And then I also have this MAC. I think this is like a travel size um, angled brush. It's in the 265, I think. I don't know. I don't like numbers. Um, and then I also have the ELF. Blending brush, yeah, blending eye brush, which is like a dollar. It works wonderfully. Sigma Performance Shader Inner Corner brush for the little inner corners or for detail work. And lastly, I have the Sigma um, eyeliner brush. I also have a few items in this little pocket right here. What I have is a nail file, just really important, just in case sometimes if your nail chips or something. Lifesaver. So this is from Tweezerman. And then also tweezers. Gotta have tweezers. These are also by Tweezerman. Just great all around tweezers. And then a little nail clipper, which will work well if I want to trim my lashes or just to from my nails, I guess, if I have like a chip nail or something. That is basically it. Before we end this video, I do have these three Too Faced palettes that I would love to give away to you guys. Too Faced has sent me some things to try out, and with these, instead of keeping them for myself, I'd much rather give them away to you guys. So feel free to click this annotated link to go to the giveaway if you'd like to try to win one of these. I'll also post the link down below if you can't click the annotation for whatever reason. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I know I just, you know, passed 300,000 subscribers and I am just so appreciative of every single one of you that took the time to subscribe and take the time to watch my videos and, you know, rate and comment. It really means the world to me and I love you all so, so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!